everybody. It is Monday, August, August, October 5th. Yeah, we're a long ways away from August. So, uh, as I've told you, I started this three-day challenge today um, with the holy mess. It's a whole bunch of us that are doing this three-day zero-point challenge. And as I record this, I'm going to meet um, somebody for dinner. I have a date. I know. I said I was never going to do this, but we're going to Bob Evans. And so I've had zero points today, and I need to stay at zero points. So I'm thinking at Bob Evans I can get a piece of grilled fish or grilled chicken. Make sure you have a wallet. And, uh, and a fruit cup. You know some fresh fruit because on my regular menu is like uh, salmon and uh, grilled vegetables tonight so we'll see what what I can get there I might just get the fruit cup and some tea or something but whatever it is I need to stay at zero points uh, and so I've had zero points so far today I'm, I'm doing well on the challenge so far uh, we had to take our waist measurement today, write down our starting weight, and uh, I did that, and then there's other questions we need to answer after the challenge is over with. This is uh, for Woman's World Magazine, so, and then there are a few people that are in the challenge will be selected to be featured in an article in Woman's World. I don't anticipate being one of those because, you know, I'm nothing special. But I know they were looking for people from different age groups and I fit one of their demographics. So, I'm doing it. And we also have to write down a journal of everything we ate. So, I haven't done that part yet, but I've recorded it in my app, so I'm not forgetting. And I'm following the printed menu plan anyway. So, anyway man I'm going to meet. I've never met in person before. I do have his picture. I'm going to a very well, we're going to Bob Evans over in a, a well-known shopping center area. Lots of traffic. Usually anyway. He doesn't live far from me. You can never really tell what a person looks like in person really from their picture though. So Like I said, I said I wasn't ever going to do this before. And he and I, he's the one I think I told you about the other day. He and I are polar opposites when it comes to politics. So already I have very low expectations of this meeting. And I, he let me choose the restaurant. So and be, because I have such low expectations, I wanted to choose someplace close. So uh, I'm only about five minutes from home where I'm going. Uh, his wife passed away un unexpectedly, he said, in 2016. So, he wanted to meet up with me a couple weeks ago, and I told him, no, that wasn't a good time. I told him why, you know, and he completely understood. But, uh, we'll see where the conversation takes us, but like I said. Judging from all of my past experiences, experiences with this online dating, I have very low expectations. I have a blouse on I haven't worn for a while, and you can tell I've gained that 13 pounds. So, I need to keep wearing these clothes that are getting a little snug on me to remind me why I'm doing this. Anyway, that's about it for me today. You know, I have lots of stuff I got going on at home. I looked in my room this morning. I thought, I can't take this anymore, my bedroom. So right now, the chances of me actually sleeping in my bed tonight are real slim because I piled a bunch of stuff up on my bed. Just to get it up off the floor and to clean off all my surfaces and stuff, I piled it all on my bed and I'm going to work from there. And uh, it might take me a day or two to get that done. Wednesday, I'm picking up a dozen pumpkins. 
from my uh, produce guy. So I'll be canning pumpkin over the weekend. The thing about the pumpkins is if I don't get to them right away, they last a little bit longer. So I'm not as pressed to get things done. But I go, need to go to the orchard and get some apples while apples are in se season to uh, get my to make some applesauce and eventually some apple butter. Usually for Thanksgiving, I make fresh apple butter. So, I don't know if I'll do that this year or not, but I love apple butter. If I can come up with a good low sugar slash no sugar recipe for apple butter, I might make a little bit more. So, depending on how sweet the apples are. But anyway, that's kind of on my docket for the next couple weeks. Um, and that's if I could find jars. Because I'm running out of jars. I did empty, I, with this uh, turkey chili that I made today, I did empty, I think, four of my jars. So I could wash and reuse those, but then nobody has lids. So, and it's a, na I, I'm understanding it's a nationwide short shortage. So, uh, I don't know what my lid situation is. I know early on, before the pandemic started, I bought up a few packets of lids. I know I've used some, but um, we'll see. I'm just thinking down the line here. So, But my biggest concern right now is if I make this stuff, will I have the jars to put it in? Um, I do have some empties I can go to if I can have the lids. And jars are so expensive online. I mean, they're price gouging. You know what? I didn't want to go on this road. I wanted to go on the other road. I was thinking I would come here and I needed to go there. <laughs> oh well, I'll be more on time. I don't want to seem too overly anxious. We're supposed to meet in about 10 minutes. So, anyway, uh, like I said, that's kind of on my docket for the next couple of weeks. And then after, really, after the pumpkins are done, I'll probably do a batch of beets, pickled beets. And then uh, I'll move on to soups and stews after that. So, and then I saw one place today, the, the meat market that we're working my stuff has uh, pork loin on sale. 99 cents a pound which is an excellent price and I almost ran out there to get some and I thought am I going to really eat the pork loin I canned some last year that I still haven't touched well, I, only a couple jars um, I mean it's a good price and even if I only do like four or five jars of the pork loin at least I have something you know to make a noodle dish with or something because it came out, the, what, the one jar I did have of it came out really, really tender. So, I mean, after after the harvest is done, that's kind of what I look, do. I watch the meat sales and, and uh, like, beans and stuff like that. And then I'll go get that and can it up. But I have other things brewing right now, like probably going to end up, like I said, spending the night on my couch because I'm, there's no way I'm going to get all that done. So, okay, well, I just came to Bob Evans. I don't have any idea what car this guy drives or anything. His name, I can Jim. Jim. I don't know his last name. I don't know a whole lot about him. So, okay, wish me luck. Like I said, I have low expectations. I'll talk to you later and let you know how it goes.
All right, this is the challenge that I'm doing this week. It's a WW three day zero point meal plan. Now it's zero points on the blue plan. If you are on the green or purple plan, the points are different. Um, for instance, what I'm having for my snack is, well, the, the day would be 16 points on green um, today. 14 points tomorrow on green and what is this? 21 points on, on uh, Wednesday. So, but I got this off of the holymess.com and this is what I'm having. I'm about ready to fix my breakfast. My zero point turkey chili is in the, the instant pot and then uh, dinner. Now here's the thing, I have a date tonight for dinner. So I'm gonna eat my dinner here and then I'm gonna have, just when we go out, we're just meeting at Bob Evans, I'm just gonna have some fruit when we go out tonight so I can stick to this. So I just want to show you this is what I'm doing. All right, well here's my breakfast. I have three scrambled eggs. It's folded over to look like an omelet but it's nothing but eggs in there. Topped with my homemade salsa that was on the menu um, for today. So uh, this is it. Zero points and I've had two cups of coffee. or I'm working on my second cup and um, one tablespoon of fat-free half and half, which is zero points. So I have a zero point breakfast. All right, here's my lunch today. I have uh, Weight Watchers Turkey Chili. Um, on the blue plan, this is all zero points. It's uh, just 99% fat-free turkey, ground turkey breast. The rest is all veggies. Um, the beans, there's uh, black beans and kidney beans in here. On the blue plan, both of those are zero points, and the rest is just like there's onions and celery and carrots, zucchini in here, tomatoes. So that's it, and which is some spices. Zero points on the blue plan, and then my apple weighed out at 200 grams, and that's also zero points on the blue plan. And I'm having a glass of water with this. Still at zero points for the day. All right, so this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. Uh, I have some salmon and some roasted Brussels sprouts. I just put some spray butter on top of that. Uh, salmon is zero points on the blue plan and so are the Brussels sprouts. So I have a zero point dinner. Well, I'm back home from my date, sort of my date. <laughs> I met this man that I had talked to online and um, he doesn't live far from me. So. I will say I had a very nice time. He is a nice man, and if he asks me out again, I'll probably go. Uh, the only thing we don't agree on is politics. So, but we didn't. We agreed not to talk about it too much. Anyway, like I said, very nice man. Now let me tell you, I'm on the zero point challenge, and I think I might have blown it. Not by much. What I decided to have was a bowl of their vegetable soup or a cup of their vegetable soup. And I ate maybe three bites out of it. So I'm thinking a quarter of a cup would probably be what I had out of that. And um, I didn't eat the crackers that came with it. So the only thing I can find in the app for Bob Evans is uh, the soup with the crackers. So I'm thinking those uh, crackers are two points or one point and I didn't have any. So I'm thinking I probably had one point in that soup. And then I got a side salad, no cheese or croutons with it, and I didn't eat any dressing on it. I ordered some um, Italian vinaigrette. They didn't have any vinegar, so I just decided not to use the dressing. Um, and then I came home and I ate my regular dinner. <laughs> I know. Uh, but I needed to have some protein, so um, I sh I showed you my dinner then, what I ate, and that's was prepared at home. Um, very good. The salmon and Brussels sprouts are really good. So anyway, uh, so I got it. I've got to go clean my kitchen before I go to bed tonight. I'm not even going to make it to my bed. I'm probably going to sleep on the couch because my bed is, I told you, full of stuff that was in my room. I do this all the time, and then I regret doing it. But anyway, so tomorrow for breakfast, I think I have yogurt and berries. I think that's what the plan is. And um, 
another zero point day on, on docket for tomorrow. So I think I, oh, I had one point today. But like I said, I'm on this three day zero point challenge. So we'll see if my scale, you know, is any better tomorrow. So I was hesitant to drink, to eat a lot of that soup tonight because I realized even though it may not have many points or calories, it still has sodium in it. And that's one thing I don't want. The other thing is that on this three day challenge, you get absolutely no sugar at all and no fat. So we'll see if this actually works for me. Um, I usually do better with low fat than I do with no fat. So very restrictive calories too. I'm not sure how many calories if it says on my planner. I don't think it does, but uh, very few calories, which is okay because I, I don't have very many steps in today. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to go and I will be back tomorrow and I'll show you uh, what I eat on day two of the zero point challenge. Bye.